Shalom, Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I'd like to give Shalom, salutations, and honors to all the elders, bishops, and apostles of GMS. I'd like to give a, dull, a double Shalom, honors, and salutations to the 144, the hopeful elect. Okay, and I like to get a shalom to all you brothers and sisters out there who believe in this knowledge, this truth, this understanding, searching the scriptures daily to find out what it is required of you by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, okay, which means He to be or He exists, which the world ignorantly calls God or Lord, okay, and Yahweh Shai being the true name. Of the beloved heavenly son, okay? His name is Yah Yahweh Shai, which means he the savior, or he the deliverer, okay? Which the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, okay? Okay, this is your brother, Yahweh Shai, GMS St. Louis, back at you with another lesson, okay? Okay, and this lesson is inspired by uh, Brother Manat Dazat Bar of uh, GMS South Carolina 08, okay? And I wanted to just lay him back off what the brother was saying because it was a beautiful lesson. And, and those of you who haven't watches, watched it, I encourage you to do so because, you know, the lesson, lesson inspired me to add on, if I may, and I'm going to try to do my best, you know, uh, you know, because <laughs> I'm going to just try to do my best, you know, to, to, to add on to it. OK, because the lesson was very uh, edifying. OK, and very inspiring again, as I say. OK, and the brother went into um, how we are becoming uh, how we're becoming outcasts of society. And it's wonderful. OK, OK, as we go on and on, the world is getting uh, wickeder and wickeder by the day. OK, and those of us that choose to follow the law, statutes and commandments and have faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. OK, we are becoming outcasts. We're becoming oddballs, relics. OK. You know, we're becoming relics. OK, we we're in opposition. If you really follow in your high by Shai, you in opposition of the world. OK. And the brother brought out the brothers brought out some beautiful scriptures. OK. And, and brother Manata Manata Zatbo did a, a great and fabulous job through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai on that lesson, okay? But, you know, I just want to keep going, you know, in the spirit and, and bring out some more scriptures, okay? How, you know, the world is against us because we we are seeking the love of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, okay? Okay? And without further ado, let's jump straight into it. We're going to go to the book of, uh, we're going to go to the book of Isaiah. So like you bear with me, right? We're going to go to the book of Isaiah 5 and verse 20, right? It says right here, Isaiah 5 and 20 says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Okay. Okay. So that let you know that, you know, this world is going to be backwards. Okay. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, gave the law unto the Israelites. And who are the Israelites? So called black Latinos and Native Americans, right? And those Edomites who heritage on your daddy's side go back to a, a so called black Latino and, La and Native American. Okay. OK, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe. What does woe mean? Destruction unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. OK, they think their way is the best. OK. But if you read the scriptures, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, he created wisdom from the beginning. Okay, and what is his wisdom? His law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, 
Okay. Verse 22. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine. Okay. And men of strength to mingle strong drink. Okay. Okay. What is the, what is the wine? These other, these other doctrines. Okay. Okay. And they mingle the strong drink. So they mingle the doctrines together and they get all lost and confused. Okay. For, I'm sorry, verse uh, 23, which justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteousness, the righteousness of the righteous from him. Okay. So this world is backwards. Okay. Just like the, the one lady said over there where they have an award. She said the number one threat. Okay. Was the, the young black man. And here it is, they got whole countries, okay, and regimes launching real bullets, real missiles, and bombs at them, okay? But those of us that's bringing out this truth, this knowledge, okay, we are the number one threat, okay? And in our actuality, we showing love. We letting you know that your destruction is coming, Okay? We letting you know, okay, that you're going to be destroyed for your wickedness. So you don't have false expectation, okay? Okay, and in and, and, and the truth of it, it, it's really love. And we letting the, the wicked two-thirds know that you're going to be destroyed as well, okay? But but if, if, if they had, they say so, you know, we being wicked, okay? It's better to know the truth of a matter than to believe in, 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 a, in a falsehood. OK. OK, let's keep going. We're going to go to, you know what, let's go to the book of Job. OK, just to give you an example. OK, what Job went through. OK, and how the world uh, uh, despised him. OK, we're going to go to Job 30. And we're going to start at the first verse. It says. Uh, this is referring to the to the to the Edomites, but it can, re the wicked Edomites, but it, it, it also can go toward the, the wicked two thirds as well. It says, but now they that are younger than I have me in derision who fathers, I would have disdain to have set, to have set with the dogs of my flock. Okay. So Job didn't like these guys. Okay. The, 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 uh, the younger people coming up. Okay. So we're going to skip on down to the ninth verse. It says, and now I'm in their song. Yea, I am the byword. So they were talking about this guy. They was talking about Job. OK, they abhorred me. They flee far from me and spare not to spit in my face. OK, it, but if you go back to Job one and one. It lets you know the character of Job. Job was an upright man and he abhorred evil. As a matter of fact, we're talking about it. Let's go to it. Okay. Job 1, right? Job 1 and 1. There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. And that man was perfect and upright and one that feared power, Yahweh, okay, by Shem Yahweh Shah and eschewed evil. Okay. And Job, Job, that's, that's just how he lived. Okay. Okay. So that's, that shows the character of Job. But when you go back here to uh, Job 30, right? Okay. And it says, and now I am their song. Yea, I am their byword. They abhorred me. They flee far from me and spare not to spit in my face. Okay. Didn't the same thing happen to uh, Yahweh Shai when he was, you know, uh, 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 carrying the cross to be crucified? OK. Because they had loosed my cord and afflicted me. They have also let loose the bridle before me. OK. So like, <clears throat> you know, when somebody has a, a horses and chariots and they chasing somebody down, they loose the bridle and let them them horses go instead of holding them back. OK. Upon my right hand rises, uh, Salakia, verse 12, upon my right hand rise the youth. They push away my feet, okay? 
you know, trying to trying to make them stumble and they rise up against me the ways of their destruction. OK. They they mar my path. They set forward my calamity. They have no helper. OK. So, you know, they they wayward. OK. They have nobody to, to, to you know, they didn't have nobody to tell them right from wrong. OK. OK. They came upon me as a wide breaking of the waters. OK. It's just like when you go to the beach and the waves come up on you and, and, and come down on you. OK. In the des in the desolation, they rolled themselves upon me. Right. OK. Terrors are turned upon me. They pursue my soul as the wind. OK. And my welfare path is away as a cloud. OK. So they trying to take this man uh, Job down because they don't like the way he lived. They don't like how he is. OK. The, the young people, they despise his ways. OK. And they come to they they they, they want to destroy him because he, he not like the rest of them. OK. OK. We're going to get another one. So like you bear with me. Bear with me. We're going to go to the wisdom of Solomon. Right. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter two. Right. And we're going to go to the 12th verse. It says wisdom of Solomon two and twelve. Right. And this is this is what the wicked. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to start at the 10th verse. Wisdom of Solomon two and ten. It says, let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow. No reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age, which we just got finished talking about Job and how the, the young people was uh, 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 rising up against them. OK, let our strength be the law of justice for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. Right. OK. That's just like, you know, we like what well, I just got finished reading the Job. They didn't. They didn't respect them. OK, they came against them. They did. They, they, they didn't value what, you know, his uh, words of wisdom. OK. Verse 12. Therefore, let us lie in wait for the righteous because he is not for our turn and he is clean. Contrary to our doings, he abraded. He abraded us. He abraded us with our offering of the law. OK. He objected to our infamy, the transgressions of our education. OK. So the righteous man is not for the way these worldly people are doing things and, and, and what they learn. OK. That is contra contrary to the law, statutes and commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh OK. He professes, he professes to have the knowledge of God, Yahweh. OK. And he called it himself the child of the Lord. OK. He was made to reprove our thoughts. He is grievous unto us even to behold. OK. So that's how that's how some people think. And just like uh, 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 Elder Brother Manatazakba went into, you know, you have Esau and these other uh, Israelite groups. OK. They can't stand us. Like the brother said, you know how we saying it. One brother said he, he can't wait to get them alone in a room. It's like, wow, is it that serious? OK, I mean, it is for us. But, you know, you're not you you you're not listening to what the man's saying. You know, the brother trying to show you love and you want to destroy the brother because he's trying to show you the right way. OK, he's trying to show you what's pleasing to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai? OK. OK, he is grievous unto us, even to behold, for his life is not like other men. His ways are of another fashion. Right. So if you're in this knowledge, this truth. OK, you went to these scriptures, you're not going to live like the world. OK. OK, you're going to be in the world by not using and abusing the world, as the scriptures say, roughly paraphrasing. OK. OK, we are esteemed of him as counterfeits. Right. Just like in these Christian churches, we they they counterfeits 
because they're not living, they they're not uh 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 um uh, raising the name, okay, the true name of the heavenly Father and the beloved heavenly Son, which is Yahweh, why why how was shy, okay? They call it on the J word, okay, and that's not even his name, okay. So they counterfeits, they worship at other gods, okay. We are esteemed of him as counterfeits. He abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness because their ways are filthiness. Okay. He pronounces the end of the just to be blessed. And he maketh his boast that God, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh is his father. Okay. But this, this is how they think. Verse 17. Let us see if his words be true and let us prove what shall happen to, I'm sorry, Salaki, and let us prove to, let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. Okay. So, you know, they, they going, they going to try to put hands. Okay. On the people. Okay. On, 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 on the servants of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Okay. Okay, I didn't mean to be long with it, but we we I gotta bring out these scriptures, okay? Okay. Let's go to uh next one. Let's go to John. We're gonna go to John uh uh the book of John, right? 16 is starting at the first verse, right? And uh this uh 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 Yahweh Shah speaking. John 16, starting at the first verse, it says, These things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended. Okay? They shall, pu they shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you would think that he doth God service. Okay? Okay? Verse 3. And these things they will do unto you because they have not known the Father nor me. Okay? Okay? That's just like with this, this uh, the alphabet community. Okay? If you speak against them, okay? If you speak against them, they're going to come up against you, okay? Okay? You speak against them, they're going to come up against you. They ain't trying to hear what you're trying to say. Okay? If if you call yourself a uh, 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 Israelite, you you anti-Semitic. Anti okay? And according to the scriptures, it, it's the, the so-called black Latinos and Native Americans. Okay? You can't call yourself a Shemite. Okay? OK, I mean, and, and this is true because the, the, the them small head is trying to come out with them. No hide laws. OK, they're they going to be the ones that bring out the, the uh, 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 I speak as a man, but they're going to be the one that bring out the, the, the guillotine. OK, because they the wicked. OK, they run in the world right now. OK. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, that's all I had on that. That John, that John, um, uh, 16, one through three, right? Let's, uh, let's go back to Wisdom of Solomon, right? So, like, you bear with me. Wisdom of Solomon, right? Uh, Wisdom of Solomon five, right? And we're gonna start at the third verse, right? And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall they say within themselves, right? This was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach, okay? Because Yahweh Shem Yahweh going to come down and put the smack down on this place. But this is what they're going to say, okay? Because they're they, they, they going to do these things, Okay? They're going to have you in derision and, and a proverb and a reproach. Why? Because we read in the uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon too. 
because our ways were not like that way, their ways. We abhorred their ways. Okay? As filth. Okay? Verse 4. We fools counted his life madness and his end to be without honor. Okay? Because they don't know the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh And this is what they think. Because you not... Uh, uh, on the, uh, uh, on the same page as them, as far as uh, uh, being in the world, partying and in mirth and, and doing all these abominable things, they think you mad, okay? They don't, they, they, they don't honor that because your ways are different. You, you, you have a, a, a different mindset, okay? Your, your love and your drive and your passion is toward your how about Shem Shai, okay? And doing the will of the Father, okay? Verse 5, how is he numbered among the children of Yahweh by Shem Shai and his lot among the saints? Okay? Okay? That's what they're going to say. Okay? Because they, they haven't considered, okay, the truth of Yahweh by Shem Shai. They haven't considered the, the true names of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Okay? They haven't considered that. And, 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 and you know, it's a it's a great thing. Okay? We gon' we're gonna be held in derision, okay? We gonna be a a, 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 a a proverb and a reproach, but it's a like the like the elder was saying, it's a good thing. And let's I'm gonna show you why. Let's go back up to Wisdom of Solomon in the first verse. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as I'm sorry, Salakia. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. Okay? Okay? It's a wonderful thing because the end, we're going to stand in great boldness. Okay? We're going to be in them chariots. Okay? Looking down on, on the glass sea mingled with fire. Okay? And the rest of the and made no accounts of his labors. Okay? We trying to tell you what is right, what is pleasing to your high by Shem Yahushai. And what you do, you scoff, you, you scoff, you mock, you laugh, okay? Okay? You want to fight us, okay? Push on us, spit in our face like I read in Job, okay? Okay? But you're going to be repenting and groaning for anguish, as the scriptures say, Okay? Verse five, uh, chapter five, verse one, it says, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no accounts of his labors. OK, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. OK. So for all this, 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 these, these things that we go through. In the end, we are seeking salvation, okay? You can make fun of us, okay? You can call us bummer lights, okay? You can make fun that we say Yahweh. You say, a nigga say Yahweh. That, that's all I'm fine. You mock us, that's okay. But when, when, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far, so far beyond all that they look for. OK, because they ain't gonna, the way it come, they, they ain't think it was it was going to happen like that. Remember that movie, uh, uh, um, Menace to Society. And uh, that the the dude, the main character, say, "Damn, I didn't think they was gonna come back gaffling like that." And that's that's how the the wicked Edomites and the two thirds gonna say, "Damn, I didn't think he was gonna back get getting like that." Okay. Okay. And they shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. OK, because in my other lesson, I said, you know, according to the scriptures, your how about Shem Yahushai is coming back with the tempest. OK. Your how about Shem Yahushai coming back with the tempest. OK, the sparks and flames of fire, 
and destroying winds. Okay. Okay. Yeah, how about Shim Yahweh Shah coming back? He ain't playing. Okay. Let's get one more and I'm going to close it. Let's go to, uh, we're going to go to 2 Ezra, right? 2 Ezra 2. And we're going to jump on down to the 43rd, right? Right? And this is another thing why it's so good. It's a wonderful thing that uh, the people of the earth are, re are rejecting us, okay? Okay? The people of the earth is, uh, we become an outcast, okay? An outcast of society. And it's a wonderful thing because when you read, Okay, 2 Ezra 2 and 43, and it says, In the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest. Okay, and who are they talking about? They're talking about our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and upon every one of their heads, he set crowns. Okay, so if we endure to the end, no matter what these people of the world say, Yahweh Shai going to set crowns on our head, okay? And you know it's Yahweh Shai because it says, and he was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly, and rightfully so, okay? Because uh, Yahweh Shai made the ultimate sacrifice, okay? He made the ultimate sacrifice for everybody, okay? All Not everybody, but Salakia, all, all the Israelites, when I mean, when I say everybody, OK. Cosmos. <laughs> Let me clean that up. Cosmos. OK. He made the the ultimate sacrifice for all of Israel. OK. OK. So I asked the an angel and said, sir, what are these? And he answered and said unto me, these be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Now they are crowned and receive psalms. Okay. Okay. And how do you confess the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Okay. You abide by these laws, statutes, and commandments, and you tell the people, okay, like, like Yahweh Shai said, if you love me, you feed my sheep, and how do you feed the sheep? You tell them about the Heavenly Father and the beloved Heavenly Son, the law, statutes, and commandments, and the, and the things that are pleasing unto you, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's how you confess the name, okay, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Okay? And then verse uh, 46. And then I said unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them psalm, palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of God, okay? It is the son of Yahweh, whom they had confessed in the world, okay? So he asked him, who is this tall guy, okay? That, that's giving him crowns and palms in the hand. And he said, this is uh, Yahweh Shai, which is the son of God, okay? And he was explaining, it says, whom they have confessed in the world. So this is the elect getting a crown and, and palms in their hand. And the elect are those that stood stiffly, okay? They confessed the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in, in the earth, okay? And abided by the law, statutes, and commandments, okay? They did the things which were pleasing to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay? So he answered and said unto me, it is the Son of God, okay, whom they have confessed in the world. Then I began to greatly commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? So with that, I hope your brothers and sisters have been edified. This is your brother, Yahweh Shai, GMS St. Louis. Okay? Until the next one, Kwam Yahshua Allah, and Shalom. Shalom.